Okay, in the next exercise, Blurred, we are working on a web page for a photographer. She basically wants to show off her skills, how good she is at fixing blurred photos. But the problem is she only has the after photo that's been fixed. So we're going to add the original before photo and we're basically going to blur it so that we can show what it looked like before she fixed it and took out the blur. So our job is to add a before and after heading using the H1 tag. We're going to reconstruct the blurred photo, okay, and it's going to be on the before picture. We're going to use the blurred class, and we are going to make the image 200 by 300 and use this picture down here. Okay, so let's get started. When you run this originally, okay, we're not going to see anything because uh, in our body we only have a comment. Remember, comments are not visible to the website visitor, only to the coder. So we're going to go ahead and Let's add in our headings first. So H1 for before and an H1 for after. Okay, we're also going to need an image with the source attribute set to the image we've been given. So I'm just gonna copy that and paste it in here. And we're going to use the same image for after, so I'm just gonna paste it. Okay, to make things easier to read, I'm gonna space things out here. For the before image, I'm gonna add a class of blurred, since that's the instructions we got, and we're gonna go ahead and style it now. I think we got all of the HTML, and let's run that to make sure it looks okay. Looks good to me. The only thing is our images are slightly bigger than they should be, but we'll fix that in CSS. So over here, let's do that first. With our tag selector, we can set the width and height. So I'm gonna add those properties in first. And let's see what the value should be. 200 pixels tall, so that will be the height. And 300 pixels wide. Okay, since both of our images are coded with image tags, it's going to apply to both images. Great. Now let's blur this before picture so we can show off how great she is at editing photos. So over in CSS, let's use that blurred class. And remember, it's just the filter property, and this is the same thing for any filter that you're using. You are going to type in the name of the filter, and the blur takes a value in pixels. Okay, so the higher the pixel amount, the more blurry it's going to be and the blur um, filter basically applies a blur effect to the image okay and i think it said four pixels yeah so four pixels and that should blur our before picture let's see if we got what we wanted okay looks good okay so there's the before there's the after this should officially complete this exercise but again remember these are totally customizable the higher you go here on the value the blurrier your images are going to get. Okay, the lower you go, the sharper they're going to be. And that's it for blur. Okay, so with your experimenting, just make sure you're going back to the final instructions. And that wraps up the exercise for blur. Nice job, everyone.